Shot put got a fire just ahead of the Gaylord pits, several pits down. That is the Schrader car, number 52. And it looks like they're going to go ahead. They've got the fire extinguishers. They're spraying everybody. It looks like somebody is over the wall they're spraying. And they've still got a major fire going on their hands right now. Schrader is in the car. You He's can see that. He's trying to get out of the car. As they continue to spray, Schrader manages to get out of the car safely. It looks like he is all right. So it looks like it was one of the crew members who dived over the wall. That's Schrader Michael. is waving at him, telling him to get in there, get, get the car, get it, the fire out. Michael Waldrop had to back his car out of the fire to get back on the racetrack. But you can see that sparks were flying. He has dragging something. Uh, the tire were, you know, they were throwing sparks. Somebody went in there to put fuel in while the, you know, everything was really hot, sparks flying, and it just ignited that fuel, and they had to get the heck out of there. And Ken Schrader's getting back in the car. Well, the fire was on the ground. It was the fuel that had spilled out on the ground, so if he can get things going, probably not a lot of damage actually done to the car. I think all that fire was behind him where the fuel spilled onto the ground. You see all the spray that's obviously over the car. They'll have to clean off the rear window at the very least, but uh, if there wasn't a lot of damage to the car itself, Ken Schrader is ready to go racing again. I gotta say, Ken Schrader is one of the all-time great racers when it comes to heart. This is a guy who on any given race weekend will be racing anywhere. I have seen him racing in some of the strangest places in America. Well, I gotta tell you, he's one of the all-time greatest race car drivers when it comes to cool because everybody else is running around or jumping up, down, and all over the place. He just gets out of that car like he's come in to take a little rest or something. He and, wasn't even excited. And in the middle of that, he pointed out, by the way, guys, you got a fuel can leaking. Why don't you turn this <laughs> up? I'm going to get back in the car. You clean it off, and I'll go racing again. He also has one of the all-time greatest quotes that I've ever heard. We're talking about it's from one of his press releases. It says, you know, I haven't got a clue what I'd do, be doing if it weren't for racing. He says, I don't think I have any real skills. <laughs> well, I tell you what, you do have a great skill, at least in being cool and calm under fire, because Ken Schrader, what an incredible job you've done out here this afternoon, coming back up through the pack twice and then keeping cool and calm when the fire was going everywhere. We're going to take a break. Hopefully come back to a calmer Pikes Peak International right after. Rule Larry Rice, Stephen Cox back at Pikes Peak, and there is the man of steel, Ken Schrader, with nerves that uh, uh, he's got more than I've got, that's for sure. You saw the fire just a few moments ago. Take another look at this. This is what happened. The car came in. We don't exactly know how it started. Assume it was a spark, but you see on the left, there was a crewman who was injured as well. He caught some of the fire. There we saw it with the, the guys over the wall were spraying on him. And look, Schrader still hasn't even got out of the car. He's only just now getting out of the car as the teams continue to spray. And I gotta say, all the crews, both crews from both sides were in there spraying as well. Well, Ken Schrader was very calm, cool, and collected. He got out of that thing very coolly. The fire is a big, big fear for most drivers. They got that all put out.